Welcome, welcome. This is Ali Jade with Ascended Stars. Hello, my Piscians. Yes, you are next. And um, today is June 4th. And um, thank you so much for your patience. I am doing things in a new way where I'm going 30 days out from the day that I do it. And I can't get them all out on the first. I'm just a realist. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm a realist that likes to dream a lot. But um, yeah, so that's what's going to happen right now. So I'm going to do yours till uh, July 5th, okay? Or July 4th. And um, I hope you all are doing good, my beautiful Pisceans. Uh, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and um, sharing the journey with me. <laughs> sharing the journey with me. So we're going to call in spirit. We're going to ask for divine guidance for my Pisceans that are watching my channel. Um, if you want to help me grow, you can comment and you can also share. And you can also um, subscribe to see all the latest uh, Neptunian updates, <laughs> uh, Pisces updates. And we're going to get into it because I do a lot of astrology with my readings as well, um, which uh, I have come to really appreciate because um, the cards reflect a lot of astrology, by the way, as well. So it, it complements each other really well. Um, I'm starting my Patreon page back up. So there you can see my face and um, meet, you know, meet me personally kind of more intimately. I'm going to do some poetry on there and I'm going to just share my life and my thoughts more um, intimately with you guys. And uh, it'll be a donation basis. All right. Thank you so much. And let's get into it. Let's see what we have for Pisces. A couple more shuffles. Yes, you could probably call me the awkward shuffler. I'm not really the expert at that. It's not that's not really what I um, pride myself in is my shuffling skills. <laughs> Nor am I uh, eating with chopsticks. Alright, let's see. What do we have for Pisces? come out okay Pisces um, Neptune's going retrograde so I'm going to leave this stack of cards here <laughs> for you um, your ruling planet is going retrograde so that's gonna happen on the 18th of June what is that 14 days away from this reading so um, it's going Nept it's going Neptune's going retrograde in your sign so that's why it's going to affect you. And that's probably why I got this stack of cards there for you. Um, so let's see what we have, my Pisces. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, and I'm going to reveal these more towards the end. I'm just going to get the energy right here with you. Um... Okay, so not only is Neptune the dreamy, lofty planet of um, the unknown, <laughs> um, the ruler of Jupiter, actually, Mars is also going retrograde in Aquarius because Mars has been in, re in uh, Aquarius since May 16th, and now it's going to retro saying, hey, we're going to go back through some stuff that we need to recap and relook at, um, rethink. Probably some. We are going to go back about some stuff to rethink some stuff. And this is Mars, which is uh, a very masculine planet. Then we also have a couple interesting things um, on the twelfth, and in, in um, not too far along from here, Mercury enters Cancer. So it's going to join Venus in there. So it's going to be about communicating about love, the things that we love, our home, our mother, our nurturing qualities. Um, 
Venus is in Cancer right now dealing with our value system and how we deal with mother feminine issues, secrets that are deep down in there. Not only that, Jupiter is also in um, retrograde in Scorpio. So a lot of this water energy, we have a water trine going on. We have some really ex ex spectacular energy between the first and the seventh of this month. And... Um, Neptune in Pisces, Jupiter in in um, Scorpio retrograde, and Venus in Cancer. So um, that's all water trine, and it's for us really wonderful for Pisces. I have a lot of my psychic gifts come from my Piscean energy. Um, I'm at 28 degrees <laughs> in my Piscean energy, so I just really resonate with you guys. Um, so let's see, but I'm not Piscean, of course, a lot of you know. Um, so let's see what we have um, going on. Of course, June's going to bring in your sister sign of Cancer on the 21st. So what I have um, basically that really comes up really st strong for me, kind of this is the meat and potatoes for me, is the uh, Seven of Swords energy. It's wanting, the feeling of wanting to want, run away and wanting to escape. And guess what? <laughs> Neptunian energy, Piscean energy has to do with vices and escapism. So th this is coming in strong. There's some things and some truths perhaps we don't want to quite face. But this could be because someone, and this could be a, a love offer, a, a, passionate, a passionate love offer. Um, that comes in and and we want to run away uh we as in piscean <laughs> the Pi you know we want to run away from this love offer because look they're like sneakingly running away from this love offer or the universe wants to offer you something saying hey take this this is a good offer and and then um the it, it's not good enough it's not really what we want it's maybe it's really bad timing maybe it's from somebody who is from the past um, that, you know, with retrograde energy, we can deal with a lot of past stuff, past issues. Um, but the universe is saying, ideally, you know, we're working on your behalf. We're working on your behalf here and we're changing the tide for you. If you were up, it's going to become an, if you were down, it's going to become an up. And we want to offer you some new beginnings here on a passion and giving you illumination on, on um, how you can move forward in this new world, in this new context of, um, of, of letting go of the past. But, you know, it's still a struggle. It's still a struggle for many of the Piscean energies. It's still like, oh, I got to push through. I got to really gather all my strength and I have to um, fight another battle, you know. And, and I feel like a lot, I mean, not just you, but I feel like in general, a lot of us people are exhausted and tired and don't want to fight another day and don't want to... Um, continue this battle it's like it's like i give up i give up i give up on, on on really wanting that dream that i wanted um pursuing that thing that i had fought for so hard to get because somebody had come along and took it from me so some circumstance somebody pulled the rug underneath me and um and and now i you know I'm not into having it so much as I was in the past. This also is reminiscing, reminiscent of an energy of something that you wanted very badly. And now you don't care. <laughs> now it's like, ah, eh, I don't care. It's like, ah, I could take it or leave it. And I can probably leave it. Leave it for whenever because i'm not going to and his arms are closed i'm not i'm not going to budge you know i'm not going to move i'm not going to and i feel like this has to do with some creative venture as it could for some of you out there too um this could be with some creative venture because of the red vest and we have the entrepreneur the great entrepreneur the um fire the king of wands 
and to me he's a great entrepreneur he does not give up on anything like he is um keeps going keeps pushing and he gets what he wants yes he fails a lot but since he's got jupiter on his side <laughs> the belivent uh belific jupiter who always makes him optimistic see things in a good light see things positive um he keeps going he does he, he falls he dusts himself off and he keeps pushing and keeps going but he's looking at the past here and there's an idea that wants to fo get formed get get um get manifested but there's a lot of criticism it seems like with this idea you know there's this uh, little there's like the good angel and the bad angel and it seems like the bad angels winning because these are looking at each other it's very interesting how it's the placements are here's the sword and this is illumination and this is yes go for it do what you want to do do your dream now is the time and then there's the queen of swords who has been through hell and back she had to leave her husband because he was abusive and um didn't 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 respect her and she was like no i'm not going to have any of that you are going to respect me here's my sword of truth i will lay down the law i will tell you what's up with me and you will do and i will define myself this is the queen of swords but she has a lot of experience she's been through a lot she could seem a little cold or callous sometimes um especially in the reverse but uh, callous in a way where she tells you the truth and doesn't really um sugarcoat it okay she's not like oh soft and cuddly and sweet she's more like you know like she's more like um like I think of a uh, of a techno song, just like bump, bump, bump. She just comes at you. And it's like people aren't really ready for the sharpness of her ways, her words, her style. And then we have the king of, of wands who he's looking at the past. She's looking at the future. So we do have some um, actually it's interesting enough. We do have some energy where Neptune is is going to be um, contradicting some other very strong planets i'm not sure if it's pluto or i think it's pluto so the god of the underworld where it's basically you know this neptunian energy of my dream my vision my creativity how i want it to be presented and then there's this like no this is the law this is the way it should this is the way that it's been done this is the way it should be done this is this there's some contradictory energy that we're going to be dealing with in the month of june and i didn't write it down but i I'm telling you, I'm sensing it as well, where your belief systems here, okay, are going to be contradicting, are, are going to be like confronted, okay, um, where you're going to have to perhaps cut some ties off with people who have different belief systems than you. He represents the belief system. She represents the thoughts. So your thoughts might be, be contradicting somebody else's beliefs. And um, we're in times where people are like really standing by their truths, like their their own personal truths, and they're kind of um, sticklers about it. You know, they're not going to bend. They're not. They're they're not going to change their ways. You know, so um, I, I there's a there's a sense of really fighting for your truth, verbally speaking about what it is that you represent, and. You know, Pisces is such a, a a foggy type of energy. It's cloudy. It's not really um, defined very well. And it's about, you know, uh, aesthetics overpowers a lot of things sometimes, you know. Um, creative arts overpowers a lot of darn truths of law, of, of moral law, of physical law, you know, creativity. That dream realm is um, is such a beautiful, beautiful place. But here we have people who believe something, and they're not going to change. They're not going to see your point of view, and um, you're getting illuminated with this information this month. Okay, you you're really getting illuminated with this information this month. Uh, it makes you perhaps want to run away from the situation and not deal with it right it makes you like look at this offer of like 
that kind of contradicts my beliefs or how I think or how I live, my style, my lifestyle. It, it, I'm picking up on this very in, interesting energy for my Pisceans. And you want nothing but be, to be creative. You want nothing but to like, you know, dance and sing and do your thing. And it's like, here you are representing yourself as the Queen of Wands. And she's psychic too. So we also have a couple here where it could be your own um, mate who you have contradictions with, who you're not seeing eye to eye with. And um, you're gonna come to some kind of illumination where it's like maybe you do see their point of view or you try to find a higher understanding. Um, but your main mental realm is like, I just want to create, I just want to do, I just want to have fun, I just want to be, I just want to laugh, I want to sing, I want to dance. And theirs is more, um, let's live by the truth, let's be honest with ourselves. You know, it's very like, eh, 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 like a downer energy, <laughs> like really for a Pisces. Like you just want to be up in the clouds and dreaming and doing and having fun and, and, and exploring perhaps. But there is this energy of like, well, the harsh reality is you're going to have to speak your truth. You're going to have to speak your truth. And you're not going to want to do that. You're going to, it's going to want, make you feel like, oh, I really don't. So you might escape on a trip, but I really feel you might, you know, want to um, ignore it. Okay, ignore it. There's also an element to this that there's something. A circumstance where you've been ignoring it for quite some time and you've been should I say pussyfooting around it you know you are this great escapism because that's what Pisces represents you guys are great escape artists you can escape from any situation because you're hard to catch you're the fish you know it's like oh, I caught the fish and it you even though you caught it it's got that slimy exterior and it comes right out of your fingers and there you go you're off and running and there's this, this element of like there's a an element well you're are you gonna feel like kind of like oh there's that person I gotta not really I gotta take a different route oh you know I'm gonna run into this person let me go this way you know there's this element to that that I feel that and, and it has to do with how you think it has to do with the way that you think you think differently I think than others um, and with the Sagittarius energy I always look at him as the, the Sagittarius man um, they're they're very strict on their beliefs uh they believe what they believe this could be a leo and aries as well but they they, they are not going to change and they're very like pushy about it you know they're very kind of like this is me and everybody else should be like this and if this could perhaps be your boss that you're like oh man i don't want to offend him i don't want to you know lose my job <laughs> um so there's this element of that going on and you're it's coming to like a complete you know like a complete um inspirational idea to you where it's like okay you know i'm i gotta i gotta do this now i gotta speak my mind i gotta do this or or an idea comes i gotta cut this person off i gotta really um uh, stay away from that situation so i'm not put in i don't put myself where i have to feel like i have to escape right so what else do we have we have a lot more cards here that I can get into yeah so it's exhausting energy it really kind of depletes you at the end of the day you have the nine of wands so you really are like um tired you're like oh my god but it's interesting because we have the nine of wands with the ten the wheel of fortune so it's consecutive energy if you just follow through do it for a little bit longer you're going to uh come into a place of real passion for yourself maybe you can dust off that project maybe with the retrograde energy you can get into these th that dream realm that you know where no one's bothering you because it's retrograde so everybody's dealing with their own stuff but you can just get into your own passion of creativity 
painting or re, you know going back into that project writing some of you are great writers great painters um dancers you know maybe you can learn to dance that routine or singers because we have uranus in, a, in taurus which rules the voice um get into like you know that acapella where you're like i need to perfect it you know reignite that passion for what you have and that's this is coming in this is coming in loud and clear to be honest with you so it's a great time for you in the, in in this time when pisces goes retrograde and you're going to be in your sister sign of cancer where you can nurture these qualities where you can really take root in them make some deeper roots into what it is that you love to do harness with uranus and taurus which um, is an earthy quality where it's like you can manifest it so let's see what these these cards are that that fell out we have balancing so yeah there's a balancing act here that uh, seems to be happening for you this month. Um, this this to me does represent balance here. Like e even with her, you know, she wants to speak her mind, but then she's con but but then she's confronted by this person who who's masculine, who's strong. Your Pisces is a feminine quality in the in the astros in the astrology. So here you are, like you know, wanting to speak your mind, wanting to speak your truth, and then you're. You're confronted with somebody who's contradicting that, who doesn't stand for what you stand for. So you got to really watch your P's and Q's. And you're balancing. You're taking this balance act, okay? It's something, you see that balancing? It's eight. It's infinity. It's what you believe in, okay? It's, it's something innate. You can't change that about yourself. Then we have um, the Page of Cups. It's in Spanish, but... Um, I feel like this is an, uh, an offer. You might be dealing with a child, um, but I don't feel like it's child energy because this person's child, but it's more like somebody nostalgic, somebody from your past, someone who's trying to be sweet and kind to you, someone innocent. You could be taking refuge within your pets um, because pets offer us so much healing. But you could be taking refuge also with your child, like, you know, nurturing your child with this time of cancer energy and the Piscean retrograde energy of it's not time for you to move forward and push your ideas. And, and really, um, people will have to come to their own conclusions and life will lead them to situations where they might turn out to agree with you or they may just um not ever get there but that's not up to us that's neither here nor there and here's another card of giving we have two cards of giving so there's like this energy of like um somebody comes in but also i like to see this card as receiving you know there's giving and there's receiving and there's somebody here less fortunate receiving there's somebody here more in power capable of giving this these are like interesting scenarios because we have the universe trying to give you something somebody here offering something sweet and kind and nurturing um innocent and then we have somebody of power also trying to offer you something where you might have to receive it maybe so um Many of my Pisceans and, and, and the mentality, some some have always gone, everybody has gone through this mentality where you're the victim. I'm the victim, poor me, nothing ever works out, Not you know, um, so-and-so did this. And it's a sacrificial energy, a lot of the Piscean energy, but it does seem like the universe is saying, you know, hey, balance, balance your truth, balance your light, balance yourself, because we... You know and, and and dig into your passion because i'll tell you something about this neptunian energy in pisces having so much in my chart you know i even have my midhaven in, in pisces which drives me crazy because i'm like what am i am i supposed to be a monk like just meditating all day long and just get away from society and just not you know not deal with it but my 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 uh, logical self says i can't be a monk I, you know, I'm not going to be able to be a monk, um, but there's this deep resonance. There's this deep um, peace in in spirituality and meditation, and that's what it seems to be saying here. Because here we have the hermit. So expect a time of 
going within yourself, tapping into those dark caves of your creativity and um, the things that you've wanted to do, but you've set aside. It's like the universe is saying, hey, I'm giving you this chance now to do it. Go back to the, what, you know, go back to what you enjoy doing. Because this person is always like happy. Like they're like a puppy dog. Okay. They're like, they see you. And that's why I said your pets, your pets are so healing. Because no matter what, your pets always see you and they're happy to see you. So you have to be like tapping into the energy of like your divine guidance of what you love to do. Okay. And I had to make a list. I like to go to Humphrey's Yogurt and eat walnuts and carob chips okay i like to um have kombucha you know th this is all eating related ironically enough um i like to go hiking which i haven't had a chance but i just joined a gym where I'm, my endorphins are kicking in i love music so i've been looking into my music and researching that and, and so i can get pumped up and getting these playlists so I'm tapping into all the things that I love to do because I can't rely on the outside world to give me my happiness. I have to really do it for myself. And that's really kind of this balanced energy of what I'm picking up. And the universe will supply what you need, okay, to make you happy. They're, 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 they're coming here saying, we support your innocence. We support the love, the unconditional love that you have for everybody and for your family and for those that know you. To know you is to love you. And yet you're like not really taking this here. You know, you're in this mental realm where I don't want anything because you're, you're, you're part of that sacrificial energy where like, no, no, it's okay. I don't need anything. I don't, da, da, da. But it's saying, you know, please connect to your detective self your your hermit energy and and look deep what makes you happy what makes you happy because that you know that's going to bring to true balance during this time of um a retrograde energy not the outside world the inside we're spiritual it's the inside world okay so that is a definite message for you guys definite message i'm 27 minutes into it i love what i just said i didn't I didn't plan on it, but I think it's wonderful. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Now let's get your numerology card and see what we have to contend with. What else is happening? Okay, so for my Pisces, what's happening? Ah, okay, that one popped out. Thank you. Um, I'll put that one there. And uh, what's the astrological influence that we need to focus on for my Pisces? Ah, okay. Y'all seeing how the cards are popping out for you. This universe is definitely supporting you. And then I have my herbal healing deck. This is um, an oracle card that I know Pisces will love it because your polarity is Virgo. It's all natural herbs and their medicinal qualities, but also their esoteric, their esoteric quality. Okay, so we're going to switch this up. This one's going to go here because that one I end up putting there. And this one's going to go here. Okay, um, all right, so let's see what we have for Pisces. I'm going to use my sage box to raise this so you can see it. Better. Okay, so the number we have is individuality. Oh my God, that is so cool. <laughs> That's you tapping into your creative power, your creative energy, and um, it's an 11. OMG. So you have something that you need to share with the world, and you need to, this time of the retrograde is going to go back over, it's going to go back over some stuff that we you're not, you haven't paid attention to. And um, it's going to bring you partnerships, that perhaps a partner that you wanted okay or perhaps partnerships of support okay as well ah beautiful okay so the astrological energy is the second house your finance house your assets finances and things that you value so um yeah like me i made a list of my things that i love to do um i already know what i value for me it's mainly um my home I mean, my, my Midhaven is in Cancer. Um, 
my north node is in Pisces. I think I misinterpreted that. So um, I already know it's always about family and home and my mother, <laughs> major mother issues if that happens. But you know, like that, those are the things I, I value, like making sure that the home is, is well kept and well taken care of and things that we need are there all the time. Um, so for you, you know, Pisces, uh this is a taurus house uranus just went into taurus so there could be some shifts in your finances i think you need to look into how the next seven years you're going to be um dealing with your finances if you're in retirement age or in college years or having a baby um to, to kind of set that for yourself before you make any big decisions is what i'm picking up is what i'm picking up keep stable and the individuality card is um i don't think it means you're single forever or whatever i think you're a unique person you're a unique being and you need to um you need to appreciate that in yourself okay so let's see we have the card which i love it the hawthorne hawthorne heart healing omg that is so cool so i'm gonna read it for you um these, this deck is rather new, so I have to read it, and they're quite, quite long meanings. So uh, that's why I prefer to read exactly what the author says, because she it really ties the readings quite well. If I the, the hardest part of this whole reading is finding <laughs> finding the the definition, so um, I can read it to you guys. My goodness. Okay, just hang tight with me. You can always skip to the point where I'm reading. Here we go. Okay. So it comes with a quote. It says, your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. That's the Rumi message, which is insane. I absolutely love it. Thank you. Thank you so much, spirit. Okay. So um, the heart chakra is the very center of our being. The middle ground between the earthly lower chakras and the heavenly upper chakras the heart is what all what all, what allows us to rise above mere survival pleasure and ego drives to feel true love for ourselves others and for life itself although traditionally associated with the color green this chakra also carries a pink vibration that combines the red root chakra with the white crown chakra Okay, so the experience of love is an interesting thing. <laughs> Joy and sorrow are in inextricably intertwined in the complicated web of the heart. Oftentimes the memory of a joyous experience will bring about a sense of nostalgia, a longing for the love felt in times past. Childhood holds nostalgic memories as we come into the world with naturally open hearts and so experience it with a joyful, innocent perception. This is also a time when we receive our first wounds to the heart, paving the way for future scars and closures. Even those who, who were blessed with a healthy upbringing can still point to the painful childhood memories. Such injuries can linger into adulthood so that we unconsciously reenact relationships from our childhood in a cynical way. Tasting the texture of hawthorn berries brings to mind the familiar flavor of cough syrup, which soothes childhood colds. Indeed, hawthorn helps bring about the resurfa resurfacing of childhood memories, particularly the times when the heart has been wounded. Now is the time to examine the relationship of your past to your present through the lens of the heart. And I'm gonna intercede because what's gonna happen is Neptune's going retrograde in Pisces and Pisces represents the cancer represents the past so it's going to happen during the time of cancer if you think of that okay so um this is also a time when we receive our first wounds did I say that okay now is the time to examine the relationships of your past okay take a close look at how you learn to give and receive love from your family can you see ways that issue that issues in current relationships might reflect wounds from childhood. This is not about blaming others. Rather, it is about taking responsibility for your feelings and moving forward. Hawthorne is a member of the Rose family and has thorns covering its trunk and branches. 
On an energetic level, these thorns act as acupuncture needles, gently piercing points of the emotional heart in order to stimulate healing. Doing such work now will allow you to, to dislodge blockages so you can start pumping love more freely through your veins. One particular exercise to stimulate heart healing is through self-massage around the chest area. When you come to a sore spot, hold gently pressure and breathe through the discomfort. Yoga and breath work are also beneficial in helping the heart open. Keep in mind that releasing blocked emotions requires nothing less than your willingness to be fully present in your heart. This can be quite painful, but rest assured that any tears you shed now will clear the way for more love in your life. Above all, allow yourself to be vulnerable. You now have the opportunity to view your patterns with great clarity so that you can break free from limiting beliefs and assumptions about love. Have no fear for Grandmother Hawthorne's medicine is gentle. She will never deliver more truth than you can handle. If you open yourself to her wisdom, you will receive the ultimate reward, a greater depth of feeling and higher capacity to love. I guess some of uh, of the us Pisceans have a, a true blockage in really loving, and I think it's related to the vulnerability issue where we have been wounded and we have been vulnerable to others, and that has been nothing but taken advantage of. So I'm going to pull a, an angel um, card for us to um, give us a little more uh, healing energy in regards to how to handle the emotional wounds and um maybe an archangel will come through actually i should pick one from the archangel i'll pick one from each because um you know i i pisces is the most loving sign but i know some of the pisces are so wounded and they've also vowed never to love again either because of those wounds so we're gonna so so um spirits here to, to guide us and to um help us connect in a in a more evolutionary way for our spiritual evolution at this time because this is this is a very spiritual time there's chaos all around us but we can retrieve into our spirit so let's see enchantment so i think i think for me this really i love horses so this really means you know the things that enchant me but this is also saying that you're more powerful than you think and it's a unicorn so also it says to me believe in magic Okay, unicorns always tell me to believe in magic. Um, and then the archangel is relationship harmony. Now that card was dealing with relationships. So um, to bring more harmony into our relationships, we have to dive a little deeper and be vulnerable. Archangel Raguel, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved. So if there's anything um, that we need to clear, we have... Um, spiritual help here okay which is absolutely wonderful and planetary help as well change is change so we're changing the heart chakra because this is orange and it says i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement so we're going inward to come out even stronger out of this tunnel i feel so um i will bid you adieu and say thank you very much for watching my channel um meet me at patreon we can get into some poetry i know my my beautiful Pisceans would love it because it's pretty I'm pretty intense with my poetry <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm doing a collection of it so I think I want to share it with y'all all right take care much love and light bye bye